In this video, we're going to explore solving radical equations. In order to solve a radical equation, you must isolate the radical. Get it all by itself on one side of the equation. So let's take a look at an example. The first thing we want to do is get the square root of x all by itself on one side of the equation. To do that, we need to subtract 7 from both sides using the subtraction property of equality. 16 minus 7 is 9. Now, we need to remove the radical. To remove the radical, we're going to undo the square root. The opposite of square rooting is squaring. So we are going to square both sides of the equation. The square root of x squared is equal to x because the square root of x times the square root of x is equal to the square root of x squared. Using our rule with our index, 2 goes into 2 one time and we're left with x. 9 squared is 81. The solution is x equals 81. However, you need to verify your answer whenever you're solving radical equations. So we're going to verify this answer by plugging 81 back into our expression, 81, the square root of 81 plus 7. We are going to test to see if that equals 16. You must only work on one side of the equal sign to prove this. The square root of 81 is 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. We have our check. Please pause the video, copy this down into your notes. Please copy the following problem into your notes. Be sure to pause the video so you can copy this down. Then work through the problem. When you are finished working through the problem, you may hit play so you can continue watching the solution. In order to solve this problem, the first thing we're going to do is add 5 to both sides. By adding 5 to both sides using the property of equality, of addition, we get the square root of x is equal to 3. In order to solve this, we need to square both sides. The square root of x squared is the same as the square root of x times the square root of x which is equal to the square root of x squared. The square root of x squared, using our rule with the index dividing into the exponent, is just x. 3 squared is 9. Therefore, x equals 9. Pause the video and copy this into your notes. Copy the following problem, solve, for x. Please pause the video so you may solve the problem. You may have noticed this time that there is nothing to add or subtract at the beginning of the problem. The radical is already isolated. Be aware that the 3 is under the radical. It does not get added or subtracted from both sides. Please be careful. So, to start this problem, we are going to square both sides. We have learned previously that when squaring a square root, we just end up with the radicand, which is the value underneath the square root. Now we solve like a regular algebra problem. Please pause the video and copy this into your notes. Don't forget to check your solution.
by plugging 48 back into the problem, we do see that the square root of 2 times 48.5 added to 3 does equal 10.